Good evening. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Well, how are you? Uh, Titus. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, you have a tough day today? Sorry? Did you have a tough day today? Tough day today? Un trabalengua, ¿verdad? Day today. Okay. What is the mean tough? Tough is uh, difficult. Mm. Basi. Mm. Basi day. I was mm, basi. Oh, sorry. Uh, a busy day, yes. A busy day, yeah. Let me write in the chat. Tough. Tough me. <laughs> Hard. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edgar. Yeah, so tough or difficult. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that happens. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but um, hopefully tomorrow it will be better. Yes. Right? Yeah. Oh, well. And how about the rest of you guys? How are you? Pretty good. Good evening. Good evening. Good All right, good to see you guys. Welcome. Okay, well, uh, let's start with our class today. Um, and let's begin with our attendance, okay? So um, the first girl that starts her class is not here. That's <laughs> okay. So I guess um, Ana Claudia is not here. Okay. All right. Um, Andres? Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, Andres. Welcome. Okay. And uh, do we have Claudia? Yes, we do, right? Present. Present. Welcome, Claudia. And Edgar? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Edgar. And Irvin? Irvin? No, Irvin, okay. All right. Uh, Heidi? I can't hear you. I, it, it's, it looks like your your microphone is on, but there's no sound coming out, or at least I, I can't hear her. I don't know if other people can hear her. I don't know. But anyways, um, well, okay. To no. All right, Heidi. Um, well, anyways, I, I can see you, so I, I will continue, and then what in the meantime, you try to, to fix your audio, okay? All right, uh, Irene, present teacher, welcome, Irene, Ivan, present teacher. All right, welcome, Ivan. Thanks. Jose, Jose Montes. No, okay. Jose Ayala. Jose Ayala. No, okay. All right, uh, Josue. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, welcome Juan Francisco. Jury. Present teacher. All right, welcome jury. Thank you teacher. 
Okay. And Luis, is Luis here? Luis? No? Okay. All right. What about Natalie? Natalia, is Natalia here? No? Oh, I, she's connecting. Let's just wait for her. Can't you hear me, teacher? Oh, now we can. Yay. I'm sorry. I'm taking the class in my office for the first time. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I noticed the environment was different. Um, so, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to the new, new equipment, but that's great. All right. I'm glad you were able to connect. Okay, Natalia. Present teacher. Right, welcome. Ronald. Ronald, no? Ronald's not here, okay. Wendy. Is Wendy here? Present teacher. All right, Wendy, welcome. Warner. There is no Warner. Okay, and Yvonne. Is Yvonne here? No, okay. All right, so like always, I'm going to make sure I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear Ana Claudia. Present teacher, now I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, welcome Ana Claudia. I didn't hear Irvin, Jose Montes. Jose Ayala, Jury, Luis, Ronald. I am here, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Welcome, Jury. Okay. Uh, so I didn't hear Ronald, Werner, and Yvonne. I didn't miss anybody? No. Okay. Perfect. Okay, in that case, guys, um, all right. Well, good to be able to see you guys today. Um, I hope you had a good day. I know that Claudia's day was very busy, but um, what about the rest of you? Did you guys have a good day today? Yes, no, not so much. Yes, the last day of the month always you're trying to close. Yeah, yeah, the last day of the month is always busy. But mm -hmm. what, what makes up for it is that, hey, we get paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, in my case, no. <laughs> this this no. month was really large. Um, by we, I'm, uh, what is that word that is uh, every two weeks that you teach us? Oh, by, you're bi-monthly. Uh huh. Bi monthly. Mm -hmm. Bi monthly. Every two Fridays. But you may oh, teach us a word. I don't remember. Okay, I I understand. Okay, so so you don't you don't get paid every uh, you don't get paid twice a month, but um, every other um, every two weeks, uh -huh. every Friday. Uh -huh. Sometimes happens depending on the month. Three Fridays in the same month. <laughs> nice yes <laughs> you know what I, I think you might end up making a little bit more money that way yes yes then, a bit. yeah because the, if you think about it there are mm -hmm. 52 weeks in the year that's right and if you so that means 50 so um yeah 52 weeks and then if you get paid i'm thinking and if you get so half of that, uh -huh. half of that is, I know, uh, 26, 26, right? I received 26 payments. Mm -hmm. But if you get paid twice a month, that's 24. Mm -hmm. That's right. So mm -hmm. you get two months. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at you. Uh -huh. Nice, uh -huh. nice, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Okay. What about the, the rest of you guys? Did you also have a tough? day today because of the, it was the end of the month. Heidi is in her office. Yeah. That means that he's still working. 
That means that it was a very busy day today. Yes. Yeah, that... I'm still waiting for a loan to be approved. <gasps> My God. Wow. I guess that is because it's end of month. Exactly, the end of the month. Yeah, wow. Wow, so uh, do you have to stay there until it's approved? Yeah, because I have to, I don't know how to say it, desembolsar el crédito. It must be today. It's not only you receive the paperwork today and tomorrow will be, the money will be released? Not today, everything today. Wow, lucky Thanks customers. <laughs> Thanks, <Hey. God. laughs> Yeah, I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> ah, awesome. Part of your goals, monthly goals. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm glad. To, well, not to hear that you. Um, <laughs> no, it's because of she. She achieved her goal. About that, that exactly. Exactly. I'm glad to hear that you. That you know, I love my work so. It's not that hard. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I love I, this feeling. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know that that um, that Anna Claudia believes that anybody can be in sales and everything. Yes. But I don't yes. know. I, I, I don't know. I kind of defer on that. The I, most of friends you are, you are the best seller in the world. <laughs> yeah, I don't me. Know. No, no, yes. no, no. I, I think I would probably starve to death. <laughs> I was, I was no, just imagine a, the afraid I was. Uh, I have found out that sellers, uh, you know, they say uh, the sellers are born that way. But no, it's not no. true. Exactly. Sellers are not only born that way. You can mm -hmm. become a good seller, an excellent exactly. seller. And there are different types of seller because I know people that they uh, like to sell promising things that are not true. But I, in the side of sellers that I show you uh, the opportunities, the advantage you have in making it, uh, in always uh, showing you the math, what you say, what you get, etc. It's up to you what decisions you make. Always there will be something that I can offer you. Exactly. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose you're right. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I think it just. I. I think you. You definitely have to. I think you could probably do any job well, but you have to put your mind to it. That's okay. for sure. <laughs> yes, but I believe everybody can everybody sell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You believe in people, that's good. Yes, yes, that's very good. I believe in people. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I I encourage that idea. You know, I think uh -huh. it's, it's good to believe in people. I think that you know, I, I'm I'm always the type of person that even if people um let me down, I still I prefer to believe in people than not to believe in people. I prefer, exactly. I prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt. Exactly, exactly. You know, so yeah, I, I agree with you on that. <laughs> okay, well guys, um, we are going to begin our class and please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Um, hold on, I can't see my PowerPoint. Wait a sec, just give me a second here. Uh, it hasn't opened completely. Just give me a second here. Oh my, my computer is thinking too much. Oh no, don't let this be. No, okay, Oof, okay. All right, good. Just give me one second, guys. All right. Um, oh, by the way, guys, um, just letting you know that tomorrow is the last day when you can um, you can up, uh, update your uh, the the platform for this week. 
So um, I'm letting you know ahead of time so that you don't have to be, you know, last minute, you know, rushing and everything. Cause I hate to see people that are always like rushing and, you know, saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I had to stay up very late to, to finish the platform. I don't want you guys doing that. So I just wanted to um, let you know ahead of time so that, you know, you guys can do it on time. Okay. All right. Um, any questions uh, so far? Teacher. Yeah. Uh, are we going to finish? Uh, we we uh, I guess that the the task number two in midterm is going to is necessary to finish this week. No, 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 no. Okay. When is the midterm? Do you guys remember? Um, September eighth. Eight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. So right now you don't have to worry about that. Okay. At this point, um, all you have to do is do half of unit two. Oh, so okay. it's, it's not that difficult. It really isn't that difficult to do a half of unit two, but you guys need to do it because, um, you know, the majority of you guys did do it last time. And I really thank you for that. But there were a few people that didn't do it, um, you know, and, and I believe that by this time, you guys should all have finished uh, until half of, of unit two. I mean, that's not that difficult to do. OK, so I really, really ask you guys, um, please, please help me with that so that I can, you know, update it and I don't have to put, put in zeros. OK. All right. So um, let's start with the presentation now. Can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes. No? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. Okay. So. Testing new products conversation. That is today's topic. Your teacher is, uh, or your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two and it's class number nine. Wow, it's going by so quickly. Imagine it's already class number nine, you know, so, wow. Okay, so, well, you know, August went by so quickly and now it's basically September now. So um, we are going to begin with this. Um, I asked you guys to do this yesterday to compare, um, to work with a partner and figure out what is the, the, um, the matching, right, of, of, the, of the, the two parts. And um, I told you guys that we were going to be looking at the answers today, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right now. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys to help me out um, with um, the answers. And we're gonna start with, um, let's start with Claudia. Claudia, could you please help me with this one? Seeing a hundred does. Sorry? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so Custom. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Consumer uses a product seeing is a hundred it they say it. Then they use seeing handle another product and trade is the custom customer doesn't know this way, but both again each other. Um okay, uh let's do something. Okay, let give me okay, don't don't look at this. Look at over here, look at the, the definition. So we're going to put the one right beside it here. 
consumers use or, or cite and handle one product than another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. So give me the number for this one. Does that make sense when I'm just what I just asked you? Okay. Okay. Four. Number four. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Um, Jerry, please help me with number two. Number two for me is. Uh... Monadic metal. What number? Number five. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, number, or oh, sorry, then which number is consumers take the product to be used? Um, that, can you help me with this? Um, Andres. Andres? Mm, I'm not sure, teacher. I, I don't remember. Okay. But you, you were here yesterday, right? Or no? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so just give me the answer. What did you write? What did you and your partner write? It doesn't have to be right. The idea is just to guess. Mm -hmm. Mm, uh, use test maybe number two. Number two. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. And um, let's have Wendy help us with number four. Uh, sorry, not number four. Well, the fourth uh, definition. I don't, I don't remember, teacher, the, what is definition. Um, maybe is um, like, just give me the, the number that you and your partners decided. Uh, with my partner, only discuss the 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 assigned the topic assigned the monadic method, not all the the, the definition. Um. Okay. Yes. You say but, but remember that we did this at the end of the class. I gave you. Yes, teacher. But I don't remember. But I I try. Okay. Um, and and maybe number uh, seven. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. And the next one, let's have um, Urban. Erwin, were you here yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Okay, okay, good. All right, next one. What do you, what do you say? Erwin, what number? Yes, teacher. Number number one. Number one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, and um, Edgar, please give me them the next one. Sequential monadic metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one right here, the the definition for this one. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, 
number number uh, number three picture number three yeah okay all right thank you very much and the last one will have um warner help us with the last one please what do you think oh uh, me teacher is number four teacher for you it's number four okay yeah all right thank you very much okay so let's check to see if you guys agree with these ideas or not okay all right so what do you guys think about this one consumers use or use or cite and handle one product then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Do you agree that, that it's a blind test? I think it's a pair comparison test, the number seven, number because seven. there are two seven. products. Number seven, yes. For me, the number seven too. Pair comparison. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a sequential. It says ah, two products. Oh yeah, okay, so here we have, it says, um, it, we use we site and handle one product mm -hmm. and then, then another, another and yeah and then and asked which one of the two they prefer so if they are if, if you're saying which of they prefer then you're comparing them yeah does that make sense yes. yeah okay so if you're comparing it then yes it makes sense that it would be number seven um paired comparison test, okay? Right, sounds good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna change that one. All right, next. Do you think that consumers use the products in real circumstances? They use a product, cite it, handle, handle it, and rate it later. Do you think that this is the monadic method? Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, it is. Yeah, everybody agrees? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, because I agree too. All right, next. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period, as they would usually use as they would usually use it in their own home. Yes, use this. Number two. Yes. Two? You agree? Yes. Okay. All right. I also agree. Good. Next, consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Maybe the branded test, the number three? Yes. Yeah, I, I agree, agree with, with that. Claudia. Branded test. A branded test. Okay. Yeah, I also agree. And the, I'm sorry, the um, three. <laughs> I think, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and the key there is the word branded, mm. brand. And over here we have the word brand, right? So in other words, and, and it's true, this is, this better reflects what happens in the in the real world right because in the real world we go to a supermarket for example and we are we we have a display of different brands for the same product and we choose which one we want we can say ah i like this one i'm going to choose this one i'm going to take that home with me because i like this brand yeah so it's very, it's very close to real life, what, what happens in real life. Okay, next. Consumers use a product, cite it, and handle it. They rate it. Then they use, cite, handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. So basically, they're, six. they're separate, right? Okay, so yeah. do you think it's the cited handling test? 
No, it's the sequential. No, sequential monadic method. Mm, I have that. You agree? Number six. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree too. Notice oh. that it's a first they they um they use the product, cite it, and handle it. They read it. It's finished. Now mm -hmm. next product, right? They use site handle another product, but they are separate. The rating is separate. They don't compare it against each other. They don't they don't look at the brand or anything like that. It's completely separate. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. This test is a good option when there are significant significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Number, number one. one. <laughs> uh, number one? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, I agree. Number one. Why? Because it well, the words here, you know, it says significant tactile. Tactile means that you have to touch it. And that means that you have to handle it. To touch, you have to handle it. And also visual elements. Visual comes from sight, right? So there you go, sight and handling test. Okay? Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. And finally, number the last one, products are tested and are tested unbranded. So we don't know the brand. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Yes, that's a yes, number four. I I number four, the blind test? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 We have absolutely no idea what the brand is. We don't care about the brand. We care about the quality. The, we care about uh, making the characteristics of the brand, uh, sorry, of the, of the product um, outstand, right? So that's the important thing. We don't care about the name of the product. So that way we are just basing the importance of the quality of the, of the product, okay? Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. Any questions so far? So the vocabulary is clear? Yes. Yeah? OK, good. OK, so here is the challenge. OK, and I'm, I'm calling it a challenge because, um, you know, because it's, it's it, well, you'll see why I'm, I'm talking about it. OK, so let's practice. Work in small groups. Retake the new product idea your group presented in unit one. Discuss two testing strategies to fit the characteristics of the product. Of the product. Brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using the strategies the groups have the group has have selected. And decide on the best strategy to test the new product. Present your analysis to the class. So do you remember that back when we were looking at unit one, which was not too long ago, where yeah. we were just basically talking about uh, one week ago, you, you um, created a new product idea. You guys remember that? The, we're talking about the soft, uh, the soft project. Or the strategies, the sub strategy, the strangers, opportunities, weakness. No, it's not that. Exactly, that one. The one that we did with the SWAT. Do you guys remember? Yes? Say yes or say no, but tell me something. Yes? Yes? If you don't want to open a microphone, that's fine. But at least <laughs> nod your head or shake your head. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember the SWAT? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the SWAT. Yes. Okay. 
All right, good. So we're gonna go back to work with the same the same group. And but this time, what you're gonna do is you're not going to do a swap. You're going to try to figure out the best testing strategy. So you're gonna be you're gonna be deciding among those uh, seven different methods or strategies for testing the product, which one would be the best one for your product, okay? Your, for your product. Everybody, everyone's gonna be different. And then you're gonna tell us why you believe that's the best product for the project. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Everybody's clear on what you're what I need you guys to do. Yes. Or no. <laughs> yes, I'm hearing. Yes, teacher. Good. All right. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, so why is that this was a challenge? Well, the challenge is actually not the it's not the um the activity itself it's remembering who you were working yes, with exactly. ah, okay <laughs> that's the part that's going to be challenging <laughs> so i want you guys to remember i remember you remember good yes lucky me i was working all also with irene uh, who i worked yesterday for this oh okay wonderful okay just give me and also we were with werner right irene okay so um i can Okay. Um, I remember. I guess I was with you. <laughs> let me try. Let me let me take my notes. Okay. So, um, all right. So, Anna Clara, you were with whom? I remember I was with uh, Erwin. Erwin. Uh, we made with with the the the, the sickle model. Uh huh. Okay. So with Erwin, who else? Irene and me, we were just three. Mm -hmm. Three of you, okay, mm -hmm. Okay, great. But, so like I said, the, you're, this is gonna be a challenge because you have to <laughs> remember um, a week ago, okay. All right, because honestly, I, I don't, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you guys are gonna help me with this. Okay, Andres, do you remember who you were working with with the SWAT? Mm, with Werner, I think. With Warner. Werner and and so uh jury. Jury, I think. Jury. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Warner and Jury, you were working with Andres on the SWAT? Yes. Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, good. Okay, now let's add a room. And um now I'm gonna ask Claudia. Claudia, do you remember who you were working with? With Luis. Luis. I only remember Luis. Okay. All right. Um, Luis, do you remember who was the other person that you were working with? Uh, yes, teacher, with Edgar. With Edgar. Okay. Edgar, is that, is that right? You, you remember working yeah. with SWAT? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes, good, excellent. Hey. All right, excellent. Okay. What about um, Ivan? Ivan, do you remember who you were working with with the SWAT? Yes, I remember what that I worked with Natalia and Yvonne. With Natalia and Yvonne. Okay, yes. wonderful. Is that correct, Natalia and Yvonne? If you were working with Ivan? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, excellent. Thank you. And what about Jose Ayala? Who are you working with? To be honest, teacher, I don't remember. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. I, okay. What I about remember that you mix us and then every one of us, we presented the product and he mentioned was working with Ivonne. Because you made some, no, I don't, I don't know if you made something like a shirt. No, or maybe I confused. Okay, 
okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Thank you. Josue, do you remember who you were working with with this one? No, I think I, I, I can't say in this in the class. You were not here during that class. Okay. Okay. All right. Juan Francisco, do you remember who you were working with? Yes, teacher, um, with Katie. Um, maybe I think Wendy. Heidi and Wendy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Heidi, uh, I think she's not here. Something happened to her. She, I guess she disconnected. Uh, Wendy, do you remember working with uh, Juan Francisco? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so what we'll do is the following. I am going to add, I'm going to add Jose Ayala to your group. Okay, because you're right now, you're only the two of you, right? Okay, so I'm gonna add Jose, um, Jose Ayala to the group. Do you remember Jose, if you, you do you think that you might've been working with Juan Francisco and Wendy? No, teacher. I guess that it was with Juan Francisco and Haiti, I guess, but now I'm not sure. Okay, all right, so I'll put you in that group then. All right, and then um, I'm going to add Josue. Um, I'll add you to group number, we'll, we'll put you in group number one, okay? Um, Okay. okay. All right. So everybody should have a group now. And um, I'm going to open up the groups. Um, it's going to be a long, a, a long a type of activity. So I would say, I would say 15 minutes. Does that sound like a good period of time for you to discuss and try to figure out which is the best method for your product or your service? Sounds good for you guys? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you 15 minutes right now. Okay, so here we go. Here, well, I guess that we are going to discuss what is going to be the method that we are going to use for the swap swap met swap application that we did. What was the service or product that you guys decided um, on? Um, uh, market a uh, supermarket. A supermarket. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Perfect. So you have to decide which would be the best strategy to test a, if um, a supermarket would be a good product or not, or if it's a service, a, a good service. So from the seven that we talked about, which one would be the best? Okay. All right. Okay. Just one, I guess. Or we yeah. need to decide between two, uh, or we need to evaluate two methods. Two methods, and you have to decide on what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages of each method or each strategy, better said. Okay? Okay. 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 Good. <clears throat> so we have. 
I guess it for me. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Doing? Uh, we are uh, checking the test for shows. Both we need to to talk about in the activity. Okay, good. Question: What was your product or your service? Uh, it's a cleaning service. Uh, service. Uh -huh. okay. Cleaning office and houses. Okay. So cleaning service, okay, good. So you have to decide. You have to decide what is the best method um, or best strategy to test your product. You know, if it, if it's if um, cleaning service is a, a you know is a good product or sorry a good service to um, to do or not. Okay. 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 All right. So we. Sorry, teacher. So the best thing you can do with this is choose two that you think would be the best and put and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each strategy. And then you decide which one would be the best. Okay. Yes, uh, we already chose um, science handling tests and now we yes. are uh, looking for the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I already decided on everything. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's fine, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I think order could be seven for the hair. Uh, this is a good idea because uh, beauty salons uh, often test uh, new products. Uh -huh. Like sachet of new new line of creams or new brand of creams for the for your face for the for the hair or the how do you say in English paint for the nails esmalte nail the polish. uñas nail polish ah nail, nail polish nail polish Okay. Nail polish. Uh -huh. um, okay. Um, what happened to your other your other partner? Who was your partner? Your other partner? Uh, she maybe has some trouble with her internet. Who? I don't know. Uh, Natalia. Natalia. Oh, she just came in. Let me just see. Acabo de estar por acá. Sí, ahorita, ahorita va entrando. Okay. All right. So your 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 service is a beauty salon, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you're gonna choose two strategies that you think would be the best. Okay. Two strategies that you would consider to be the best um, for to or the best way to to um, try out this pro the service, and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Continue then. Okay. Um. Okay. Then, do you agree with the? Uh, Branded test and the monadic method. Yes. Or or you think that other method can be better? Mm, for me, it's good. Okay. And you, Natalia? Those method. Sorry, sorry, guys. Don't worry. Sorry, it's raining in my home and I lose the internet, so it's very unstable. Unstable. Uh, unstable. Sorry. Unstable. Okay. That's okay. 
Okay, no worries, no worries, Natalia. Uh, we understand. It's winter time in El Salvador and that happens. You know, <laughs> it, happen it can happen to any one of us, so don't worry. I suspected <laughs> from the beginning. Teacher, I yeah. have a doubt. Mm -hmm. I heard sometimes an expression in English that says, shit happens. Uh, that expression is when bad bad things happens to to me or to other person. Yes. Yeah. You you you. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is um, good to say that that expression. Well, you do you know that you know that that word is is um, a swear word, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. But I don't know in English is, is so bad like in Spanish. Well, it's not a polite expression. Let's put it that way. Okay, it's not mm -hmm. polite, right? So yeah, people can use it, but you wouldn't say that that's a polite way to speak. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, so um, I definitely wouldn't recommend using it when you're talking to like people you don't know well or like your boss, <laughs> right? <laughs> like okay, uh-huh. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah. So you just gotta be very careful, you know, who you, who you use it with, uh-huh. Okay. okay. All right, so, um, Teacher, uh, can you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can like, put it yeah. on my computer and the cell phone. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, <laughs> what, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> to Natalia. Uh -huh. oh I, was like, I, I was like, you know, I'm in a parallel world. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, just be careful with your sound because. Yeah. You can only have one sound open. Oh my goodness, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay. I turn off the camera. Okay. Well, yeah. What, whatever you prefer, but uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay. Continue. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Okay, guys, now we have to discuss. Maybe the monetic method for a company that is boarding can be uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, what is uh, different with the Brandon test? Brandon test is that you make a competition with other uh, companies that produce, uh, I don't know, that produce your the same product. Mm -hmm. uh, in the in the proof the 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 to experience um uh, the value the next uh, the, how do you say value. Uh, value of the the next experience i don't know i can uh, structure luego lo evalúan después de comprobarlos then they evaluate after proof uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, what was the last word you said lo después de qué Wendy? Hey. Sorry, teacher. What did you say? They eva lo evalúan después de qué, dijo? De probarlo, comprobarlo, algo así. Test. Probar es test. Mm, de verdad. Test. Ok.
Okay, teacher, the brainstorm. Uh, the next uh, step is uh, the, uh, make the presentation or only discuss. No, um, you just you have to you have to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of two of those strategies that you chose, and then mm -hmm. then talk about which one you chose and why. Okay. 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 The monadic method too. No son bonitas, no como ustedes. Okay, and then we're going to choose this kind of strategies. Do you agree? Number five, the monadic. Number five. Five, okay, monadic method and use this. Yes, for the bottle. Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was trying to be very, you know, very sly, but I guess I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom alert us that you are here. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's good and bad. You know, it's yeah. good because at least I know that it's recording and it's not going to stop like before. Mm -hmm. uh, but not good because I can't be sly anymore. Everybody <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to have a big entrance all the time. <laughs> Miss mm -hmm. Jessica, I have a question. Um, uh, could you, Irene, could you up the presentation? Irene, scroll up. Uh, presentation? Okay. Yeah. I need to this? use the methodic, methodic method. No, scroll. Monadic. Monadic, yeah, yeah. Dale para arriba, Irene. This? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, number six, Miss Jessica, uh -huh. uh, they, uh, the customer, uh, sign and handle another product and rate it. Uh, mm -hmm. Is talking about two products that with our branch or different branches uh, with another company products or both product that that uh, in our company. It doesn't matter. It could Doesn't be, it, it could be um, either uh, from from the same company or different company. Um, because in the thing, the thing about this one is that it doesn't really matter. You, they can even be two very, very, very different products. Like, you know, one thing could be like, I don't know, a beverage. And the other thing can be, I don't know, let's say, um, I don't know, a lipstick, right? Totally di two different things that have nothing to do with each other, like soda and, and a lipstick have nothing to do with each other. So, and it doesn't really matter because what we're doing is we're evaluating each project separately. We're not comparing, we're not doing anything. We're just saying, okay, do you like this? Great, okay. Now, what about this product? What do you think about it? So it really doesn't matter if it's from the same company or different companies, it, it's all the same because each product is evaluated separately. The only difference is that they continue, right? One, then another, then another, that's, that's why it's a sequence. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I, I agree with you use uh, monadic test, monadic method, because um, we are interested in the people, not our product, and what they think about it. Feedback. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, the advantage about about every 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 one we going, we going to write advantage about use test discuss this uh, brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. 
We just need to discuss, right? We don't need to make a presentation, right? Or something. Okay. No, no, uh, no you don't, but you do have to explain why you chose that yeah. strategy. Uh, okay. Why you, why, what were the advantages and disadvantages compared to the other method that you talked about? Okay. Okay. Yes, we were discussing a lot. <laughs> we, <Yeah. didn't... laughs> we are talking about uh, the, the people and they using the product and what they think about our product for the reason we uh, choose that matter. Okay, okay, that's good. I'm curious about something. Why is Irvin so quiet today? <laughs> wow, Irvin. I am here. <laughs> yes, I yeah, I'm like, what what happened, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I always know that Irvin is there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Irvin? Not feeling no, well? Fine. No, fine. I listen oh. to my, my guys. Only guys. Oh. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> All okay. right, just just checking up. Just checking up on you. Okay, good. You guys are ready then? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. See you guys in the main room. Okay. okay. And then what do you, what do you think about what are you doing here, Heidi? No la había visto, acaba de entrar. Your, your, your microphone is off. Listo, teacher. Ah, okay. Acabo de llegar a casa. Ah? Acabo de llegar a casa. Ay, no, wow. Pero por fin la aprobaron ahí el... Ya estuvo. Ay, qué bueno, bueno. Qué bien, me, me alegra que ya, ya termine. Me alegra por el, el cliente y por usted. Sí, lo necesitábamos, de verdad. Ok, ok, qué bueno. Me alegra que se pudo lograr al final. Sí. Ok. I'm going to invite everybody back, ok? Ok, teacher. Uy, casi me salgo de la reunión. Uy. <laughs> Por no, por no ver qué es lo que estaba haciendo. Let's see. Ok, ahí sí, ahí sí. Ok. So, is this, is this, does this happen like every end of the month? Heidi? Does that happen? Not always. Not always. For example, había llegado la meta antes que terminar el mes. Yeah. But now we need this. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Ya estuvo, ya recibí el cliente, el dinero. Yeah. 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 ¿A quién le estás regalando dinero, dicen? Hoy, 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 hoy. ¿A quién le estás regalando dinero? Va a querer, amor. Heidi, Heidi, I already received. Thanks. Me <risa> metí. <risa> así sí me apunto. Yo creo que sí. Así me apunto también yo, Heidi. Y sí, hombre, esta Heidi ya le hubiera qué? contactado por WhatsApp temprana hora, vaya, dígame lo que necesita sí. todo. Aquí le voy General. a dar la foto de mi Dui, de mi Dui mi nit. A ver si pasa en el buró de crédito. Ay. Ay. Así que por aquí le va, por el chat le va a pasar todos los documentos. Ay, no. Aunque ustedes no creen, ya atendía a un compañero. Ya no está en, 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 en el curso, pero. Ay, qué bueno. Ah, vaya. Qué Nosotros aquí estamos, vamos que... a pagar más porque aquí seguimos. ¿A quién le, to a quién le toca hoy? ¿A quién le toca? <risa> Ay. Ay, no. vieron el glu glu. El video, ¿cómo enseña en inglés? Va? Allá en, en Ay, África. Sí. 
Glue, glue. <laughs> glue, glue. <laughs> Jesus. And, 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 and what's really, what, what's really sad is, is that, you know, it's real footage, you know, so there, these are actually people out there that are really teaching like that, you know, Yes. and, and it's just, and it's, and it's just because of the, of the low level of education that exists in those places, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what? But you know, you notice though that they were doing it to children. Yeah, <laughs> for children. Yeah, well, but yeah. Nature, so. future. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was French class, but no, I said no, that is not. Really. <laughs> and they Google, they Google glue, what glue. was funny. Ah, <laughs> that is glue, no. glue, glue. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh. oh man okay all right so it's time for that that time again for our attendance. yes for our attendance so Ana Claudia present teacher wonderful Andres present teacher all right Claudia present teacher excellent Edgar oh, present teacher all right Air Urban present teacher all right, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Irene. Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, and Ivan. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Montes. All right. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right. Um, Josue. Present teacher. All right. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Jury. Present teacher. All right. Luis. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Natalia. Present teacher. All right. Ronald. Ronald. All right. Okay. Wendy. Wendy? Present. All right. Warner. Present teacher. Excellent. And Yvonne. Present. All right. Excellent. Okay. So made that list a little smaller. Great. Excellent. Okay. So it's time for you guys to share with us uh, what you guys decided. Let's just have one secretary per group so that we don't, you know, not having everybody um, you know talk and everything okay so we'll we'll do that uh we'll start with group number one uh which was Anna Claudia Irvin Irene and Josue oh. who's going to present okay. I'm going to share our presentation for now. The selected one to talk, it was the, the, the master in the topic. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, now I understand. And are you going to share where the, 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 the um, I, the, the meanings of those, or, or do you remember? Ah, he remembers, I'm pretty sure. Okay, teacher, we have a reciprocal bottle. Prudence today might be familiar with the environment. Our product benefits the world as it's at a reciprocal, okay? We use the moderate method because only we have a one product for, my, for with our customer or, or our target. And we try to be a good product because the train marketing, the train for the customer want to be a good to the world. And our product is a risiko in, in the world in few minutes, in few, few months. It will be a risiko in a three months. My, our bottle will be out in the world. Right?
Hello. <clears throat> All right, thank you. I just I was having trouble there with the with the Zoom. With the microphone. No, yeah, with the microphone and Zoom. Okay, very good, excellent. All right. Um, okay, great. Uh, do you have questions for group number one? Questions for group number one? Oh, group number someone is like, please, please, don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Sounds like um, it was pretty clear. Good. Excellent. Let's move on to group number two. Who is um, the guest speaker there? Um, oh, okay, so I guess you guys don't know then who's group number two. Okay, sorry, I didn't mention. Um, Andres Jureen Warner is group number two. So I don't know who has, who has chosen. No todas a la misma vez, por favor. Don't fight with that. <laughs> yes, no, please don't fight over it. Well, we decide, we compare two, two strategies. And those strategies was... Um, were? Were, were, were um, branded tests and monetic method. And we decide to select a branded test because we are going to compare our brand with other brands at the market. And uh, because uh, we read something about brand branded test, and that branded test is going to help us to launch a new product, a test functionality, and satisfaction of the customer too. Um, there is other other that this strategy is going to help us to identify the weaknesses and strengths too, and a potential a identify potential clients too. That's it. Okay, very good, okay. Uh, remember it's strengths, strengths, and weaknesses. Okay. Weaknesses. Strength, 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 and weaknesses. Strength. Uh -huh. And weaknesses. weaknesses. Weak, weak, weaknesses. Okay. Weaknesses. Okay. Thank you, teacher. There. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Yes. And uh, in second part is a uh, advantage. The the. No, the, uh, it, it helps to identify the strengths and the weakness of your product. And, and the others uh, discover what, what are the characteristics of your product that the competition also offer. It finally, identify. identify identify. Identify the potential I, customer. Identify. Identify the potential customer. Okay. That's it. All right. Great. Okay. So which so which one did you choose in the end? Branded test. Branded test. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So now let's go to group number three, which is Claudia, Edgar, and Luis. Who is going to present which, which one of you? 
Well, the best testing strategies for our service are seeing and handle tests and use tests. The advantage for some things and handle tests are the customer can feel clean environment, uh, the customer can observe other rooms, and free pollution environment. And in the use test, the customer can choose friendly products. And the final, the best for our service is, we consider that it is seen and, and handled test. Only that. Sight. Sight? Sight. Yeah, sight. Sign. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank very you. good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on to group number three, which is Ivan, Natalia, and Yvonne. Actually, or should I say Ivan, Natalia, Natalia, and Yvonne? Because yes. there were two Natalias, right? <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, it's it's an inside joke. There. Just a, but right now, I only one. Only one, only one at the end. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So who's next? Uh, it's like who? But I said who's going to present? Um, I can I can start, Wait. teacher. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, or our idea or or service and the unit one was a beauty salon. But in this time, we need to prove a new line of shampoo and conditioners uh, to our customers. And we choose the site and handling test and the use test. Uh, the advantages of the use test is that the customers can take the product and try uh, the product in their home and they can know uh, the quality, uh, they can smell and prove uh, the results of the new line of shampoos and conditioner. Conditioner and uh, they can um, know the the product and after that they can buy the product in our in our beauty salon and now I think uh, Natalia or Ivan can share with you the advantage of the site and handling test. Yes, thank you. Uh, for the site and handling test, uh, we talk about the advantage of that uh, strategy uh, is that the customer can prove in, in her the, uh, the product um, um, and we can, and they can cite and handle and prove it and ask and I mean, are the indicate which of the two they prefer oh. because they use it and this kind of, for example, the shampoo and the consumer, they use it, the, this one. And if they prefer some, some of that, uh, one of that, uh, I, I, it's more a simple uh, testing for the client shoes what is better for them. Okay. Okay. Very good. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Let's move on to the last group, which is Jose, Juan Francisco, and Wendy. Okay, good evening. Uh, the group discuss uh, the two strategy, uh, the blind test, the branding test, and the monadic method. But uh, we talk about monadic method 
and um, decide the this is the, the best uh, strategy because uh, the person can uh, the person can decide it, the product because uh, the people only test our product and they have the time to use and they can see uh, that is really good product uh, because it's the certificated because the product is the the mass cloth sorry I, I i forget the mass cloth and the product the is certificated product, sorry the product is what did you say is the mass co cloth the tela cloth mask fabric mask Oh, okay, okay, now I get it. Okay, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's just it, we the pronunciation would be cloth, cloth, cloth mask, cloth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the product that has the certification by the World Health Organization, and the people only uh, decide is comfortable and the appearance, the appear, appearance, appearance. Yeah, appearance, uh-huh. Uh-huh, product us. Only that. Okay, very good. Round of applause, excellent. Okay, very good. How do you guys feel about, um, about this, um, the choosing what's the best um, product testing method? How do you guys feel about that? Um, do you feel that it would help you like in real life if this was a real um, product or a real service that you were offering? Do you really feel that it could help your, um, your product to do better in the market? Yes, no? Yes, sir. maybe to know the the knowledge about how to compare uh, the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Do you feel that it would really help you, or you don't think these tests would really make a difference? Depending on the product, yes, make, it makes a difference because um, we can get the feedback for the customers. Definitely. And we decide if we make adjustments mm -hmm. or, uh, mm -hmm. or maybe we retrieve and we uh, work on a different idea. I don't know. I think at the test are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Um, so it can help you decide if you can you should move forward or or not right and and stop right because you know if you're going to be investing a big amount of money you know um, then you probably don't want to risk it so much right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay very good very very good okay so now that we've done that we're going to move on to the next part and please tell me once again if you can see my presentation. Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Okay. So, two questions that we have here. Why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Speaking about those those testing, what do you think is important to test um, to have the the test products? Why do you think so? Because you have to find out if if customers are going to like it or not. Good. Okay. If they don't like it, you're not going to sell it. Right. So the acceptance, right, of the product. Okay, good. 
What else? What other reasons? Is the quality. Okay. What about the quality? Uh, the if this a uh, good product for customers. Mm -hmm. It depends on the kind of product that we launch to them. Right. Okay. The customer. All right. Okay. I guess because, I guess that is necessary because you're going to mess I invest. You're going to what? You're going to mess I invest. You're going to make uh invest of money. Right. You need to cover. Yeah, of course some money is involved, right? And um like I said we don't want to be wasting or better said we don't want to be um losing so much money. Right? Uh so, and, and maybe it may not just be your money, right? Maybe there's um, other people involved in there and you don't want to um, risk their, um, you know, their income as well, right? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Also, um, and, and it's not just about the money, it's also about reputation, right? If you already have, um, if you have a, a brand name that has a, a high reputation, you need to maintain that, that reputation, right? And so that means that whatever product you launch, you gotta make sure that it's gonna be successful because if it's not successful, then very likely people are gonna criticize it and then your brand name may, the, the the reputation of your the reputation of your brand name will be affected. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So there's lots of things that stay here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever tested a product? I guess I don't. Yes, just one time. Yeah, when? And what? Did uh, you know? Was a test that one vodka make a test uh -huh. to to bring the the that uh mark to the mark, and they gave us a lot of shot of different uh, vodka. And then you have to uh, explain how was the taste of every uh, shot. So, and they uh, remove the market. So they make a, like a blind test. Ah, uh, a blind test, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm, so then you have to explain uh, with your knowledge about the drink, uh, how, how was the taste of every drink, uh, every shot. And then uh, they know that their drink was really good. Wow, okay, okay, sounds good. Anybody had another experience with a, with a test, test a product? Anybody has asked to test a product? No, nobody? No? Okay, well, actually, I, um, I, I remember I participated in a test, uh, um, um, in a, a product testing. Um, this was also a blind test. Um, and it, what they were doing is they were comparing, well, Actually, it was really funny because uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was Pepsi who was doing it. And they wanted, you know, you know that Pepsi and Coca-Cola are always like, um, they're going, you know, at each other uh, com being compared, right? So because um, Coca-Cola has like the biggest reputation, Pepsi is always trying to find ways to, um, you know, to, to prove that they are better, right? 
So um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Pepsi that was doing this, this testing. And um, they, they wanted to show you that, you know, that you really couldn't tell the difference between Pepsi and, and Coca-Cola. So um, they, they, they didn't let me see which one was which. And they were, they, they, were, um, they asked me to identify it, or it see if I could identify which one was the Pepsi and which one was the the, the Coca Cola, you know. And um, you know, but of course, um, I'm I well, not, not so much anymore. But before, I used to be a big Coca Cola addict. So, so I was very I was very quick to find out which one was the the Coca Cola, and I'm like that one's the one, the Coca Cola, because for me. Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they taste so different, you know, so um, it was very easy for me to identify it. But yeah, that that is something that uh, many companies will do as well, right? To kind of like show you, hey, you know, you really can't tell the difference between, you know, our brand and the other brand, even if the other brand is has a better reputation. Rep reputation. Mm -hmm. So they will try to prove to you that they are, just as good as the competition. Okay, um, any other experiences that you guys have had like that or something different? Just one question, teacher. And you discovered which one were the Coca-Cola? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I said, I'm a, I, I'm, I used to be a Coca-Cola addict. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've gone quite a bit down now, but I used to, you know, drink a whole lot. And so for me, it was so easy. It was so easy. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's Coca-Cola, that's Pepsi, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the lady's like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for, yeah, because like I said, for me, it's just like Coca-Cola and Pepsi are, are, have a completely different taste. Like for yes, me. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. I know. I I I, I would, guess that Pepsi is more sweeter, right? Yeah, I find uh, my my personal opinion. I find that um, Coca Cola has is more carbonated, and the carbonation makes the sugar not like it's not so noticeable. Even though um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Coca Cola might have more sugar than Pepsi. But I find that the carbonation kind of masks the, the sugar so it doesn't feel so sweet. And Pepsi has less carbonation and so you can feel the sweetness. So yes, yeah, definitely Pepsi feels sweeter. I don't know if it has more sugar, but it's, it definitely feels sweeter, I think, yeah. Okay, all right. And well, let's go on to this part here. It says, read the following conversation between Alejandro and his dad. They're making decisions about testing the new Papa sandwich. Do you remember a few days ago, uh, Alejandro was talking to his father about the new product that he wanted to launch, right? It was the new, it was the Papa sandwich. And uh, Alejandro's father was not like so enthusiastic about it he's like oh you know no no we have a lot of products you know you really don't need this and Alejandro is trying to convince his father and say no 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 um you know we the you know our customers already love the products um so I think it would be a very good idea and so at the end the father <laughs> says okay fine do what you want just don't get me involved right mm -hmm. you remember yes Okay, good. So this is like the second part of the conversation. So this is like father agrees. <laughs> after the father agrees, um, you know, there's a few more days that pass, and we're now in the in the process of testing the product. Okay, um, so there's a conversation between Alejandro and his father, and it starts like this. Listen and please repeat. We are ready to test our new product. We are, we are ready, ready to test our new product. Good. What do we do? 
What do we do? We do. We do. We do. First, 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 I think the site and handling test. I, I, I think, think the site and handling, handling, test. Handling, test. handling test would be the best option. Will be the, the best, be the best, best option. option. Because it allows customers. Because, because, because it allows customers, customers to see the product. To, to see, see the, the product. product. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Smell it. Smell it. And taste it. And taste it. Taste it. What about the other variables? What about, about the other, other variables? variables? Will the product be branded? Will the product be branded? Branded. 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 branded? branded. Or not? Or not. Or not. Or not. I'll let you decide on that, son. I'll let, I'll let you, you decide, decide on, on that, that son. Great. 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 As for the method, as uh, for the method, the method, the method. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking about, thinking about the monadic. About, about the monadic. Consumers will eat. Consumers, Consumers will, will eat. eat. And taste our product first. And, and taste, taste our product, 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 product first. And then we'll rate it. And, and then, then we'll rate, rate, it. Rate, it. rate it. I find it more coherent. I find, I find it, it more coherent. 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 For our new product. For, for our, our new, new product. product. The Papa sandwich. The, the Papa, Papa sandwich. sandwich. You're learning, son. You're learning. You're learning. You're learning. You're learning. We have so much to work. Sorry. We have so much work to do. We, we have, have so much to do. To do. We have to discuss. We, we have, have to, to discuss, discuss about our potential customers. About our potential customers. customers. The prototype. The prototype. The prototype. The prototype. Our target audience. Our, our target, target audience. audience. Marketing. 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 Etc. Et okay, good. Oops. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's talk about vocabulary. <clears throat> what words from this conversation are not clear for you? Teacher, what is the, the difference of customers and consumers. Consumers. That's consumer, okay. Okay. Well, the difference is one pays and the other one not necessarily. One, okay. one what is, did you say? One, one pays. One page oh, okay. and the other one not necessarily. Mm. So customers are people that are going to buy your product. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're gonna spend money. The cons now customers, you know, pay the, the but they're also consumers. Okay. So they pay, customers pay, and they are also consumers because in the end, they consume the product, yeah? But consumers are not necessarily customers. They can, mm -hmm. they can choose, like, you in, in, a, te in, a, in a testing, um, a product testing, you can decide if you are going to uh, choose specific 
customers from maybe a list of customers you've had before, or you just ask randomly different people that may not necessarily consume your products daily or, or on a regular basis, but you just choose them to find out what they think. Then they would be consumers, but not necessarily customers. Does that make sense? Yes, both can pay, but the consumer I understand is uh, that target of people that I know they will eat or uh, purchase my product. I understand it in that way, but they are not going to be customer because the customer will be coming to my place specifically to purchase my product. Is that the difference? Um, kind of, yeah. So the consumer is, the word consumer is literally means that the person consumes the product, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, which can be that they either pay for it or they don't pay for it, mm -hmm. right? Because if you are doing a product testing, you're not going to get the consumer to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Which is more, you probably, you might even have to pay the consumer mm -hmm. to, 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 well, to make the test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it might be just the opposite. Um, whereas a customer is definitely somebody that um, comes regularly to, well, you know, mostly regularly to your, to your place of, 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 um, of, uh, What's the word? Oh, I, the word has escaped my mind. But anyways, uh, that that will come and buy your and consumer product. Okay, does that make sense? So consumer is like basically it can be anybody that consumes the product, including the people that are used in the testing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But a consumer is somebody that regularly comes to consume products at your at I mean, your, your company or in your company okay mm -hmm. sounds good okay 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 any other words Any other words? No? Okay, so let's go then for the vocabulary. What words do you not know that you would like me to clarify? You can write in the chat too. I'm trying to find that word. Oh, okay. Got it. Any other words? Mm. Anything else? No. Okay, so is that it for words? What oh, teacher? Yeah. Okay, all right, great. So let's start with the first one. 
The first word is sight. Okay. And sight has to do, it's sight is the what we call the ability to see. Okay, the, the ability that your eyes have. That's sight. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Vista. Mm -hmm, exactly. Right. So the ability that your eyes have to see. Okay. Branded means that it you it has the name of the brand, right? So the name of the brand is like the name of the product, right? So, um, you know, like for example, in I don't know beverages. Uh, could you give me some example of some brands in beverages? Coca Cola. Okay, Coca Cola. Pepsi. Pepsi. And it doesn't have to be soda. It can be any any other type. Bacardi. Okay, Bacardi. Bacardi. Mm -hmm. Petite. Del Monte. Del Monte. So on. So and so on. Okay. So those are. So that that means when a product is branded, it means that. On the product, it contains the name of the brand. Okay. And then we have the word coherent. The word coherent means um, something that is logical. Okay. And it makes sense. Okay. It's logical and it makes sense. And then we have prototype. The word prototype means um, that it's like the um, it's the product. It's like the original product that it's based on. So it's like um, you know, like the sketch and and what what you want the product to look like, like the original product itself. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is the following. Um, hold on. Let me, let me erase these drawings. Okay. All right. So we have the um, conversation comprehension. So here we have the conversation and here we have some questions. First, I want you to practice the conversation with a partner. So I want you to read. One of you is going to be Alejandro. The other one's going to be the father. When you're finished doing that, you can go ahead and answer these three questions. Okay? Sounds good? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So we're going to create groups. It shouldn't take you very long. I would say about, you know, I'll give you about seven minutes. Well, yeah, I'll do seven minutes, okay? And um, we are going to put you guys into pairs. Give me a moment. All right, let's open up the groups. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea what I pressed. Yep. You did it again. <laughs> yes. Oops. I did uh, it again. <laughs> okay. Yes, right. teacher. We're finished. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. Okay. Here we go.
Houston, we got a problems. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. Que, it's que, you know what's wrong? It, what the problem is, I'm trying to close the keyboard. I'm no, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to to close the the screen, like um to stop sharing. And I keep on pressing the wrong button. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let me okay. I promise I'm not gonna do this again. Okay. <laughs> You're playing with us. I repeat, I guess it was the time of the, <laughs> Houston, of the attendance. I was saying present. Okay, oh, it's the time. time. I know, I know. Okay, let's let's try it. Last time. Okay, let's prometo. I won't do it again. Esta fue, esta vez no fue yo, Warner. Handle test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that some. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first and then we'll rate it and find it more coherent for our new product, the papa sandwich. You are learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay. So switch. I Alejandro. Okay. We are ready. Te sorry, teacher, what is the correct the pronunciation? Variables. Variables. Variable. Variable. No. Ver variable. Variable. Ver variable. 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 Yes. Okay. Variable. What about the other variable? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that soon. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumer will eat and taste our product first and then will rate and rate. I find it more coherent, coherent for our coherent. New Sorry, teacher. Coherent. Coherent. Ah, more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning soon. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential, or potential customers, the prototype, our target out. Is out in teachers, audience, audience, marketing, etc. Okay, uh, Josue, how do you say hijo? Son, 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 son. It, it, son is possible. Yeah, it, it, there's a difference in son or child, son. So, son, the son de hijo is the same as son de sol. It's the same pronunciation. A son. Uh huh. Son. Son is possible. Is uh -huh. that the 
the time song is song or song? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, when do you say as, as soon as possible is, is different? Yeah, exactly. That would be soon. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Soon. Not sun, but soon. Soon. Okay. That is song. I yeah. We. Wendy, I'm going to be Alex, Alexandra. Okay. We're ready. I am father. To... Okay. I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're ready to. Yes, this is the number two is finished. Let's, let's practice then. You go first, Father, and I'll be on the handle. Werner? Sí. I'm sorry, no te escuché. No, no. Practicamos porque ya terminamos las preguntas. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Sí. Go ahead. I... Alejandro. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are ready to test our new products. What what do we what do we do? First, I I think the site and handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the um, Neither. Jack, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, sure. We are ready. Good, good, good. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay teacher. And then your your dogs uh, went to the to to your back uh, backyard. Yes. Okay. They, they have they a lot of run. space to. Ana Claudia. Present. Heidi. Bien entendido, ¿verdad? Okay, all right. Yes, exactly. Before, but before we do that, we're just going to quickly get to go over the answers um, to the conversation. Shouldn't take us very long. What type of test do they decide to apply? Sight and handling test. Sight and handling test. test. Okay, very good. Um, sight and handling test, all right. Um, okay, all right, and, um, and what test method will they imply for the Papa sandwich? The monadic. The monadic. The monadic. Because, Good. Why? Because customers will eat, taste their product first, and then we'll read it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, okay, and it's more coherent, right? For for that type. Okay, next. What are the next decisions Alejandro and his father will take about testing the new Papa sandwich? 
they have to discuss about potential customer, the prototype, the target audience, audience marketing. Very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of these things right here. Good. Excellent. Okay, we finished. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being such wonderful <laughs> audience and students and participating. Thank you very much. Okay, and right now we're just going to finish off with our attendance. So yes, now Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> All right. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Claudia. Okay. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Ervin. Present teacher. Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose. Uh, Jose Montes. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Uh, jury. Present teacher. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Present teacher. Ronald. Wendy. Present. Werner. Present teacher. And Yvonne. Present. All right, great. So that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for uh, working so hard and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to work in the platform, okay? Until what exercise number you said, uh, two point? Oh, hold on. Because there is a 2.2, 2.5, but they are like doing each one, two, two. Mm -hmm. um, just give me a second. So remember, you're not doing the midterm. That's not, we're, we're not there yet. I mean, uh -huh. do it, you can do the midterm, right? That's fine, but, but we're not there yet. So you don't need to finish it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, get over it. Because in the 2.8, we haven't seen yet in addition, no, 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 although. No, no, no. It's 2.5, if I'm not mistaken. Quiero ver, solo voy a asegurar. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2.5. As okay. Okay, so you have to do until 2.5, which is really nothing, porque you just have to do two, mm -hmm. uh, two, two tone work, two, yeah, from, from unit two. So that's mm -hmm. not, you guys can do it. Okay, okay. So, esta vez quiero ver que lo hayan completado todo, okay? Okay. Right, so that's it. Uh, oh, by the way, um, today the person that is assigned for the one-on-one -on -one is not here. So if there's anybody that would like to um, ask any questions, you're more than welcome. I will be here and stay. Anybody would like to take advantage of that? No? Okay. Okay, in that case, guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hoy es el último día o mañana, teacher, de, de trabajar en la plataforma. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. You too. Take care, Ivan.